So, we are still in Panama City, but if you've noticed, we are not in the same apartment. <laughs> so the past week and a half has been a little hectic. We did have to fly home for a family emergency, but we're back, and today we are headed to Boquete. So, in order to get to Boquete from Panama City, we have to bus to David, which is about a five to six hour bus ride. And from David, we have to bus to Boquete, and from Boquete, we might have to Uber to our new Airbnb. So it will be an adventure. Strap in with us because we have yet to do a long bus ride like this. But first things first, we gotta go check out this Airbnb and say goodbye to Wookie and Bongo. number on the ticket was not the platform number. We thought that would be the platform number, but it was actually on platform 48. And then it says P3 and V4 for seat numbers. We're just a mess. Got the whole bus involved to figure out where we're sitting. <laughs> as much hecticness that we just went through, look at this seat. We're at the very front. We have leg room and we have great viewing points. <laughs> I can't really tell. Anyways, someone came on and sold churros and Andrew bought some. But we ate them and we got it all in slow mo instead of regular. But it came with this little caramel cup. And you just dip it in the cup of caramel. And they were only a dollar. We have officially made it to Boquete. Well, hello, it is us from the future. And one, I shaved, but two, <laughs> two, we did not talk really about the bus ride yesterday, which we really did want to talk about. We got some misinformation before we went. I don't know if it was from a blog post or from a local, mm -hmm. but we heard that the bus ride was gonna be six hours and only cost around $5. So either we got on a different bus or that just wasn't the reality, but it ended up being an eight hour bus ride, which honestly with those seats and that view was okay. And there was AC mm -hmm. and the tickets cost $15 and 75 cents per person, which I had to think about it. Like if I taxied or Ubered all the way across the country, like 15 is not bad. I was just expecting five. So I was a little mm -hmm. upset that they said the total was 30 something, but. The bus ride was actually great. It was just a little long. We stopped midway through to go to the bathroom and also they had a little fonda. Yeah, they had a little fonda. Little cafeteria style lunch for so, us. So, and it was only five bucks and we got chicken and rice. Yeah, and um, if you do this bus, don't be surprised if your bus driver stops everywhere and picks up every hitchhiker and I don't, stops for every single bus stop. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it was hitchhiking. I know people from Panama are gonna be watching this video, so I do wanna get the information from y'all. But there was people like on the road that were walking and they were I know, but I don't think it was, I don't think it was hitchhiking. Well, they still have to pay. They still paid. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, those were our bus thoughts. <laughs> After an eight hour bus ride and about an hour and a half on the other bus, we finally made it. We left at 8.30 this morning and <laughs> we are officially here at six o'clock. So, but we're trying to find our Airbnb and it looks like we are in the right spot because there is a river behind me. So let's find it. 
Okay, we're actually not in the right place. This is in the parking lot. We were so excited that it was only like a four minute walk. And here we are, and I don't think it's only a four minute walk. There's not even a water. There's not even water over there. I will say one thing about Panama. They really need to up their address game because we cannot find a damn thing here. <laughs> So whenever we travel, I don't think to ask for directions before we get somewhere. Um, but I should start doing that if the addresses don't work in the maps. But our Airbnb host is actually going to come to the rescue and pick us up. So, God bless. Texas at Houston and then from there to Telluride, Colorado and Aspen, Colorado. Look where we made it to. We made it to our Airbnb, finally. It's been a long day. Yeah, the owners were very gracious to pick us up at the library. But this is a really cool Airbnb. It's connected to their house and they have an incredible backyard with a river and we'll show you all that in the next vlog. Now we're gonna go get a bite to eat. All right, time for food. Sorry about the fan sound. This is the best lighting we can get. <laughs> we just got done eating dinner and we are exhausted after this travel day. So exhausted, and after all my fry yuca. It is time to hit the hay, and we will see you in the morning for the start of our Boquete adventures. Ciao. Ciao. Okay.